last couple of years, I've had the incredible opportunity, the grace from God on my life to be able to share through notes of rest and witness people receive God's gifts of rest. It has been extraordinary. A journey that's taken me around North America in all kinds of situations, all kinds of congregations, West Coast, East Coast, and the South, here in Chicago, where I'm from. I'm so thankful that I've been able to share. And in fact, even share in this room here at Fourth Presbyterian Church, where I shared a little while back with the youth group. To see people share with me their stories about restlessness, but then also their desire for the restfulness of God has just given me thanks and given me so much space to give God thanks and praise. My hope is that for you, if you're hearing this, that you hear that there's a story about Jesus, a story from Jesus that's actually grounded in rest. Rest for you, rest for others around you, rest for the earth, rest for us all. That's the good news of Jesus according to rest. And it's a story that we so need in an era, in an age, in a time and space of life where we're all tired, weary from headlines, weary from the earth crying out from its exhaustion, her exhaustion, weary from all the ways that we tire each other out, weary from being in the rat race. The reality is God's called us to a story of rest. Sadly, the story of Christianity has often been used to be a story of restlessness. But my hope is that there can be a helpful rest that comes when you think about the good work that God has called us to do. A rest that allows us to rest in God, rest with each other, and ultimately rest with Jesus forever. That's good news to me. I'd love to share with you. Thank you for being a part of the Notes of Rest journey. I look forward to being with you in the future. Peace. Thank you.